All right, YouTube. What is up, y'all? It's Fire Thief back again. We got some stuff we want to talk about. All right. So I'm suspended again on game facts. <laughs> what else is new? I've been suspended every month this year. Yet for some reason the account never gets banned. And I'm gonna tell you why. I get suspended over the most fugazi reasons. Um we got one mod on there. I don't know who it is, man. We got one liberal mod extremely prejudiced towards me. They're still salty about the election getting lost. Um, whether they lost the election. Oh, a Hillary supporter, you know, we're dealing with here. It's just messed up, man. But you know what? I got a trick for y'all. <laughs> got a trick for y'all ass. Um, I am already back on the boards. Got me an alt. So, uh, you're not going to stop this money train. You're not going to stop the king of game facts. Alright. So, normally I would sit down for 30 days and be upset. Like, oh, I can't post. Well, I'm already back on the board. So, ha. You lost, man. This is the internet, dude. We can pull strings. But, I want to talk to y'all about the realities of this life I live. Because this is deeper than game facts. Much deeper. Had my high school homecoming Friday. So I went, you know, I live eight minutes away. Might as well go because I don't think I've ever been that I can remember. And I pulled in, dude. I had to park across the street. There were so many cars. There was over a thousand people there at this country as high school. I would have never thought, but man, it was people from, you know, years and years. All ages was up there, man. Let me tell you how turned up it was out there, man. I pulled up. I got out, man. I smelled the dope as soon as I got out the car, man. They was out there blowing blunts, y'all. And I didn't see no police, man. They's out there blowing it down. Like, it was wild, man. Everybody was turned up, man. They had beers, liquor was pouring, man, and out in the open. So I'm like, well, hell, if it's going down like this, then let me get in on this action. So I pulled up to the liquor store. That was before I even got there. Got like four shots of the New Amsterdam vodka and then like a 25-ounce Bud Light. Man, I got out there, boy, I start running into old people I ain't seen in years, old friends from school that might have recognized me, I recognized them. And, uh, man, let me tell you, dude, I had a good time, man. It was nice seeing a bunch of people that I just ain't seen in years, you know. And, like, we weren't talking about our status on where we're at in life. We was just all there together, and that was a, that was a cool thing, man. Took a picture with one of my friends, so that was really nice. And, um, man, I took them shots. And then, you know, I went back to the car, and I brought that Bud Light out, and I just, I'm just walking around with it, like, out in the open. No no bag or nothing. Just chilling, man. Then I run into a guy from the freaking AA meeting. He's got a damn beer in his hands. So we chop it up for a while. We start talking. We talk about how I came in drunk to that meeting that one day, and I ain't been back since. You know, I might have to go back. I want to, man, because it was a nice group. But, you know, I came in drunk, and uh, I was doing some shit that I shouldn't have, man. I... I really want to get into that, but uh, it turned it uh, turned out pretty ugly, man. It boils down, well, you know. All right, I'll tell you, it boils down to this, man. I, I was spitting game to a girl out there, but she wasn't a member of the group. She was actually this dude's wife, and they had just got married. And I'm telling her about this and that, big tits, big ass, like what's up, you know. I was in the parking lot talking that shit, and I didn't know that she was with him, man. And he's an ex marine. Boy, let me tell you, man, I came back to the next meeting like 
three days later, four days later, because that was Tuesday it happened, and I came in on Friday. And so that guy took the, the lead, the head of the meeting. He said, what are you going to do about this, man? We can't have this. So, man, the, 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 the leader of the meeting pulled me to the back, and he told me what happened. I'm like, oh, my God, I liked that guy, man. I didn't even know it was like that. So then he brought the guy in there. I'm like, man. This dude about to kill me, man. This is the ex-Marine we talking about. He's like 40-something years old, and his girlfriend was like like 20-something, like 22, 23. It was like a 20-year difference, so I didn't think that they was together, right? Man, he brought him back there, and I looked at that guy. I was like, man, look, man, I really respect you, and I'm sorry about this shit, man. I sit in the cane that night, and I'm sorry about everything. And he accepted my apology. He shook my hand. But then they told me that it'd probably be best if I left for a while. So I did. And that was like, I don't know, two, three months ago. I ain't been back since. But then the head of the meeting messages me on Facebook, right? And he's like, man, dude, we got a whole bunch of people out here really missing you, man. Because you were definitely the life of that meeting, man. You brought, you know, brought a lot of real stories and you brought a lot of joy to these people's lives. And we'd love to see you back. And I'm like, all right, well. That guy's still going to be there, and I feel like it's going to be tension, like he's going to want to kill my ass, you know? And I understand that. But, I mean, I didn't truly know at the time, but I think I'm just going to walk in there, man. I guess it's Sunday right now. I guess I'll go Tuesday. They have two meetings a week, Tuesday, Friday, 7 p.m., right by the high school, right by my house, less than eight minutes away. I think I'm just going to go in there, man, and say, what's up, y'all? Tell them what I've been going through. Tell them that how I lost my support group, you know? Things gotten crazy around here. Things have gotten crazy, y'all. <clears throat> so, let's talk about last night, man. Uh, boy, I was on them locos. And I got loco. Here's what happened. I lost my keys in my wallet, right? Car keys, my freaking wallet. Thing. Well, I knew I didn't leave the house, so I knew they were here. But in a fit of rage, here's what I do. I destroyed... My phone, a $350 Galaxy S6. You know, I was mad and I acted out of emotion. Took it, slammed it on the on the concrete, man. It's destroyed. It's shattered. It's like, man, I ain't got no money right now. I can't even go buy a new phone like that. But you know, the main thing I'm upset about is I've got three job prospects right now. Okay? Were they going to call me? I can't even answer now. So it's like, I'm kind of asked out, like. What am I going to do, you know? Because I destroyed the phone, man. It's getting hot. Now, let me turn this fan on. Oh. <sighs> yeah, man. I broke my phone. But, I mean, people do that shit sometimes. Like, yeah, I got up emotion. Crazy things that happen. So, I was mad because I couldn't find my keys in my wallet. I broke the phone. The next morning today, I found the keys in the wallet. It's like... <clears throat> It's like, damn, I broke that phone for no reason, man. So, that's the reality of this, man. The roller coaster life that I live, man, things get crazy. Y'all know I still get drug tested. Not just for drugs, but for alcohol, you know what I'm saying? I'm still here, though. That's the thing. I'm still here. I can't talk about that too much, but, um... Let the drug test speak for itself. I'm not going to fail one. That's that's all I'm going to put it that way. I'm not going to be failing. <sighs> but anyways, homecoming was lit. I'm glad I went. The next day, I got low code out and broke my phone. And here's the third day in a row, Sunday. Give me all the update. Totally suspended on GameVax from a main account, but I'm already on there. I'm already on there again with my alt account. And I'm not going to tell you who it is, but it'll be pretty obvious to see who it is. Because I'll be posting in my own topics. And yeah, that's it. I had to get back on here, man. I'll tell you all a little bit of what's going on with me, man. Real life. No acting around here. You're getting it raw and uncut straight from Fire Thief. I'm growing a beard out. Got a mustache coming in. Like, I like this, man. I like this facial hair, man. I'm growing my hair out, too, but it's going to take a while for that. So, I might be broke, but damn, I'm fresh, man. 
brand new all white jacket, all white sweatpants. You know what I'm talking about? I'm in the game, y'all, but just know this, man. I'm not going to give up. Life gets hard, but I will push forward and I will do everything in my power to not only stay out of jail, but to be a positive influence on other people. People drive by the house, I wave at them because I'm always on the front porch. Got my headphones on, you know, I wave at them. Actually, these headphones right here. I need to do a review on these because I've had these since January 2012. $150. Audio Technicas. Okay? These are fire. But since I got no uh, phone right now, I just got my iPod. Just listen to music and I'm vibing. I'm feeling the vibe. So. And if y'all went to my Twitter, I gave a disgusting Twitter rant to the mod who suspended me, challenged him to a fight, be it boxing, MMA, or UFC. He's not going to step up, though, man. He's pussy. But I've challenged him to a fight, dog. I want to I wanna see what's up with that. So, yes. Make sure to check my Twitter and go watch that video. It was just... It was a wild live stream in the moment, calling out that mod, but um, it is what it is. So <clears throat> I'm still at Boxed In too, so shout out to Boxed In. The slums of Boxed In, I represent for that. We bought in this transmission right now. And um, that's, I, that's just a quick update on my life, so... Things about to get wild. I think I'm gonna uh, get back in the studio, get on some more music, man, because I've been listening to my old tracks lately. It's kind of get me inspired. This fire thief got tracks out the ass, man. I got so much recorded stuff, and it's not all on YouTube, so I'm gonna make sure to periodically upload my songs as well, because I, I need it all archived on the internet. So I'm gonna do that. I hope to see y'all again. Lord knows, you know, Lord willing, I'll be here. I'll be here again, and um, thanks for watching. Um, I'll talk to y'all soon, man. I love you. Peace out, YouTube.